Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Satoshi Sean, and you are at the Cryptopolitan, your one-stop shop for all news when it comes to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. I hope everyone's having a great new year. Um, it's starting out a little weird, but hopefully it's going to be a great year. Um, let's jump into the uh, news. If you're a new subscriber, old subscriber, passing through, please crush the like button. It really helps us out. And if you uh, are interested in getting news on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, please crush that like or uh, way well, yeah, crush the like button, like I said. But uh, hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications. Um, a few things I wanted to go over. I think the battle lines are really being drawn, um, which is one of the stories that I'm going to go over. But uh, Apple is coming out really against crypto, which they were never really that into it. Um, I think if you look at the Android Apple um, different sides, I think Android is definitely, which I don't use Android. Um, I use Apple for everything, so except for my computer. Um, but they're definitely coming out against uh, crypto. Um, <clears throat> Apple uh, and Google uh, dApps are going to uh, ban our Apple and Google are banning dApps or decentralized applications if you don't know what dApps are. Um, it really just uh, shows kind of a, a fear because um, things are starting to move um, when it comes to um, different currencies. Um, not real cryptocurrencies, but more legitimate is just a terrible word to use, but government-backed um, crypto. So crypto itself is becoming more of a reality for the masses. So uh, awareness when it comes to crypto and blockchain, things like that, are going to spread very fast, I think, in 2019. Um, and like I said, I think these, these lines are really being drawn in the sand. Um, now, speaking of lines being drawn in the sand, a, uh, a U.S. congressman or senator said that he's going to buy Bitcoin and ammunition are going to be his two uh, investments in 2020. Pete DeBrosaka. He's, I think he's from South Carolina. Uh, Bitcoin ammunition will be Pete DeBrosaka's investment choice in the next decade. His statement has shocked everyone in Capitol Hill, I can imagine, especially that one jerk, um, Brad, whatever his name is. Uh, the conservative congressional candidate from the 7th District of North Carolina has said that he will want to invest in both Bitcoin and ammunition starting in 2020. His statement is viewed as skepticism as he wants to convey his displeasure about the state of the economy in the next decade. Um, if you're American, then you know how things are here. Uh, things are tense, man. Things are really tense. Um, I've always told people that I think they should invest in crypto and in precious metals, gold, silver, and lead. I believe in uh, ammunition because it's tense like i said very tense um it's also not financial advice i'm not your financial advisor that's what i'm doing um speaking of uh governments and crypto the bahamas sand dollar pilot program begins um it will launch in 2020 the uh first ever central bank bahamas is looking like to be the first ever central bank issued digital currency um if they beat china which is looking like they're probably going to. It's going to be called the Baham Bahamas Sand Dollar, which is very nice, very, very nice name. Um, this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of smaller island countries that have been talking about coming out with this. Um, I think it's going to be a trend. I think as China, I read a story and, uh, and watched uh, some videos that were put out by the Wall Street Journal on it. So it's really being pushed into the mainstream financial legacy financial network. That it's coming. Um, and they had talked about how China launches this program. If it's successful, that other countries are just going to jump on and follow suit, which I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to be. I think 2019 is going to, or 2020, God, I've made the mistake quite a few times. Silly. Um, I think 2020 is going to be a really fast moving year when it comes to crypto. Speaking of that, Kim.com predicts several crypto crackdowns in the USA in 2020. Um, I'm sure you'd say that because he's Kim.com. Um, and I think he 
will be looked at uh, with a lot of uh, scrutiny, as well as um, uh, Monero and Dash, probably. Um, really, privacy coins, that's, that's the main thorn in the US government side and most government side. Um, I think there will be a, a somewhat of a crackdown, but more, like I said, of these lines being drawn. I think to be definitely crypto friendly countries and countries that are completely against crypto. I think it's become very transparent. You're going to know. Um, it's not going to be like, well, we're looking at it. I think there's going to be a much more well defined regulatory structure as well as uh, intent. I think the intent of most governments will become clear this year on who is completely against it and scared by it and who is open to embracing new technologies and knows it's the future and they're just going to, you know, kind of try to be the first first ones there uh, for the gold rush. That's about it for today. I am your host, Satoshi Sean. It was good hanging out with you. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.